Hello, everybody. Uh, okay. Uh, growing up, um, I didn't look like this. Um, I looked like the black Harry Potter. Um, I was shorter. Um, I was a little bigger. Um, I didn't have any magic um, powers. Um, and my parents weren't together. Um, my mom was like the LeBron. Ja what? My mom was like LeBron James on the Cavaliers in uh, 20, uh, 2006 or whenever LeBron James was on the Cavs. Um, she was great. She was greatest. She held it down for us uh, completely. And my dad was like the rest of the team um, of the Cavaliers in 2006. He didn't really do anything. He wasn't really around. Um, so like LeBron leaving the Cavaliers, my mom uh, left my dad uh, with the kids. Um, so I never had my dad in the house. Um, he wasn't really around. And I remember going into middle school and I was trying to make some new um, friends. And when you have a, you know, a single uh, mother, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to make friends because she's always telling you, hey, stay away from these types of people. Uh, these people will rape you. Uh, when you go from school, just come home. So I didn't really, uh, know how to really make friends. Um, and I remember going into the lunchroom in the sixth grade and I was uh, you know, sitting down there and I see these kids at the end of the lunch table um, laughing, joking, having a good time. And they're slapping cards down on the table. And I like look over and they're laughing, they're, having, they're getting louder and louder. And I just get up and I move over and I go see these kids and they're slapping cards, they're laughing. And I was like, hey, uh, what are you guys playing? And one of the kids like, oh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and I was like, what's Yu-Gi-Oh? And he's like, you know what, I would explain it to you, but there's a TV show that comes on after school. Just go watch it. Um, does anyone here know what Yu-Gi-Oh is by uh, just applause? <laughs> Great, for those who don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is, Yu-Gi-Oh is a Japanese card game um, that you play in a basement with your Chinese friends um, <laughs> after school. It's pretty good, it's amazing. Um, and I went home uh, after he told me to go watch Yu-Gi-Oh! And I, I, I watched the show, and it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. You should definitely watch it. It doesn't really, um, the TV show isn't the same as the actual game. The rules don't apply on the TV show, but it is still great. You can watch it on Netflix. This is not an um, uh, ad for Netflix, but definitely go check it out or stream it, whatever you want to do. Um, but uh, I watched it, and I was like, oh, I'm hooked. I I'm ready to play this game. So I went. Uh, to school the next day, and I was like, hey, can, I, can you teach me? Um, and the kids there, um, they were like, yeah, we got you. Um, and we became this like motley crew um, of dudes. Every time I'd come to school, you know, we'd play Yu-Gi-Oh, um, and I got addicted. Like, I would watch the show, like, religiously every single day after school. Um, I got all the Yu-Gi-Oh memorabilia. I got the, like, little Yu-Gi pendant. I had the Pegasus eye. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> just gonna look at you for safety. Um, and I was addicted. I was addicted to this thing. And uh, there used to be Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. Um, and this turn the tournaments would always happen at a place called King's Games in Brooklyn, um, off the, the Q Train Avenue stop, or Q Train uh, King's Highway stop. Um, so I remember one of my boys telling me, hey, we're going to this tournament on Saturday. Ask your mom if you can let go, it's gonna be great. Um, so I tell you about my mom, she uh, didn't want me doing a lot of things, um, but my parents were divorced, so um, if my mom didn't uh, let me do this one thing, I could ask my dad, he was aloof. Um, he was a taxi driver and he would just be like, yeah, sure, whatever. So I told him I was going to, uh, I, was, I, was, I had a, a tournament uh, to play and I think in his mind he thought I was playing a sport. Um, he's like, ah, oh, sick, he's getting involved in basketball. This is amazing. And uh, I said, hey, can you drop me off at this place? And my dad's a taxi driver, so uh, he, uh, we, we pull up to the spot, and it's like in front of this like rinky-dink shop, and he's like, you're playing basketball in there? I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're all in there. It's going to be a good time. And I remember going inside uh, King's Games, and if you've ever been inside of like a really cool like card shop in the, or like a, a, a toy shop, like in the front, there's like a bunch of different memorabilia from different shows, from different movies. Um, and like downstairs um, of King's Games was where they would do these Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. Um, they'd have like tables laid out and just people would just play. And it smelled like uh, virginity and like whatever the, <laughs> the inhaler smell was. Whatever that inhaler smell is, it smelled like that. Um, and, I, and I, I went down there with my friends, and we're playing, we're having a good old time, and I lost track of time. Um, and I asked one of my friends, I said, hey, what time is it? I was like, I, I told my dad to pick me up at four, and he's like, yeah, it's like 6.30. Oh and I was like, ah, shit. And um, I come back upstairs, and I see my dad in the store. And he's like looking around, he's like, 
hey, where were you? And I was like, oh, no, 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 it, it's, it's all good. You know, the tournament was downstairs. He's like, oh, let me go check out the games. And I was like, no, 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 the games are done. Uh, we finished playing. Um, he's like, where's, did you, you're still wearing jeans. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we were just uh, having a, a meeting, a meeting with the coach. Um, and I said, just, just take me back home. Uh, we'll, I'll figure it out. And he's like, all right, cool. So we get in the car. <laughs> we end up going back home. Um, and he's, he's downstairs with me. And he's like, hey, I want to go upstairs and talk to your mom. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, Y'all don't really talk, but, you know, that's cool. That's fine with me. And uh, we, we go upstairs, and my mom's like, hey, how was the tournament? And I was like, oh, it was great. You know, I didn't win, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, but it, everything's going to be fine. And my dad's like, hey, did you know that um, Andrew's actually not playing basketball? He's actually in a gang. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? And he's like, yeah, he's in a gang. And my mom's like, he's in a gang? And he's like, yeah, he's in the Yakuza's. <laughs> and he's like... I saw him come out of his basement with these Chinese people. And I was like, what? I was like, first off, the Yakuza is a Japanese gang. It'd be the Chinese Mafia if I was in the Chinese Mafia. But I'm not in a gang. And he's like, no, he's definitely in a gang. He wasn't sweating when he came out of the basement. And he was wearing jeans. And also, I bought a weapon at the shop. They're selling weapons there. And before I could even say, hey, this is a card shop, they sell memorabilia, he pulls out this plastic bag, reaches inside, pulls out a knife. And it wasn't just any normal knife, it was like a circular knife that had different attachments, you would turn it up, and it said like Blade 2 on it. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, this is the knife he got, he's in a gang, him and his Asian friends, rob people. I was like, what are you adding more things to this? And I was like, no, I'm not in a gang. I was like, this is from a movie Blade 2 with Wesley Snipes. And he's like, no, you're making this up. This is a Blade 2 cut people. And I was like, ah. Oh. I was like, I see what you did there. I was like, that's a great uh, name for a knife, but that's not what I was doing. I was like, guys, I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I gotta confess to you, I wasn't playing basketball. My tournament, it was a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. And I pull out my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I proceed to explain Yu-Gi-Oh to my superstitious Haitian parents. <laughs> and I say, hey, this is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It has 25,000 attack points, 3,000 defense points. You gotta summon two monsters if you wanna get it on the field. Boom. <laughs> I said, so this is a magic card. It's a dark hole. It's not used anymore, but if, uh, you know, it's banned. But if you play it, you destroy all the monsters on your field. This is trap hole. <laughs> they were, they were, they were, they're kind of just like you. You're all just very quiet. Uh, I said, this is a trap hole. I said, it destroys any monster that has over 1,500 um, attack points. Silence. Um, I was like, all right, let me just explain to you what Yu-Gi-Oh is. So I said, Yu-Gi-Oh all started when these uh, you know, these Egyptian gods and, e and Egyptian pharaohs in Egypt would play and they would harness the power from these Egyptian gods. Um, and if you lost, you would get sent to the place called the Shadow Realm. Um, the Shadow Realm is a place devoid of light, kind of like a black hole, um, but that's where your soul would go um, to spend eternity if you lost the games. Now, we don't play like that anymore uh, because Yugi did, you know, what he had to do to settle it. Um, with Pegasus, but it's we just play for fun now. <laughs> and I remember, I've never seen this before, my like, mom and dad like held hands. <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe they finally understand and you know, the heart of the cards really won them over. <laughs> You only would understand that reference if you played Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and they were like, oh, okay, he's not in a gang. We get it, he's not in a gang. They're like, he's possessed by a demon. I was like, what? <laughs> I'd just rather be in a gang. I'd rather be in a gang. And uh, the way that superstitious Haitian parents get rid of children that are possessed by demons are as they beat them. They beat them. Oh, yes. 
Um, but that wasn't the worst part. I could I could deal with a, a good uh, Lincoln. Uh, but they burned my cards. Aww. They burned all these cards um, that I had, and it sucked because those that you those Yu-Gi-Oh cards were like my identity in school. I'd go into school and I'd be like, oh, I have these guys that I'm you know we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh with. Like we we sit together, we hang out. That was like the family, and. Uh, it was like a cardinal sin to like burn your cards. I spent so much money um, that they didn't know um, on these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I'm watching them like burn each card over the sink and each card is like a different memory. I was like, dang, I remember when I won that off Daniel. I remember when I stole that from that one kid. Uh, <laughs> not proud, I never said I was a good kid. Um, and I had to go to school, uh, so it was that was, that happened on a Saturday. On Sunday, my mom's like, "Yeah, we're going to church bright and early. Um, the demon may still reside in your body." Um, so we went to church, and you know, I was sitting in the back of my mom, um, and I remember the pastor getting up and he said, "Hey, uh, you know, one of the our, our, our family members in the church, uh, you know, had a bout with the demon last night, and he won. Can Brother McGill stand up?" And I had to stand up in front of the church and you'd be like, hello. <laughs> Not really, I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but it is what it is. I'm redeemed. And uh, I had to go to school on Monday. I had to go to school on Monday and I couldn't tell my friends that my parents thought I was a demon or in a gang and they burned my cards. So when I got into lunch, they were like, oh, where are your cards? I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm good now, man. I don't." I don't talk, play Yu-Gi-Oh! I talk to girls. I talk to girls now. Um, that's what I do. And uh, I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for a long, a long ass time. Um, and like Drew said, I am a teacher. Um, I'm an English teacher. I teach in uh, New York City. Um, I teach ninth grade and uh, 11th grade. And I remember my first year teaching, um, I w we were doing a lesson and a kid pulled out these Yu-Gi-Oh! cards during the, during the lesson. And I looked and I had a little flashback, like, if, like I felt like a Vietnam veteran. I was like, oh my God, you get back. And uh, you know, we're supposed to be working, doing class. And I said, hey man, I'm gonna have to confiscate those. And he said, oh, come on, teach. And I said, yeah man, I'm gonna have to confiscate these. I'm sorry, you can't, you can't have you get cards in school. And I said, the only way you can get these cards back is if you beat me in a duel. And, uh, and the kid was like, what the fuck? And, uh, and everyone with us is like, what is going on right now? <laughs> like, this is a, is this a cartoon? <laughs> and uh, let me tell you folks, uh, I still got it. I still got it. I beat the shit out of that kid. Thank you so much, have a good night. Andrew McGill, everyone.